Hi class, welcome to our math lesson today. Today we're going to be looking at different shapes. Before we begin, I want to review some of the shapes that are on the board and see if you remember their names. Oval, circle, triangle, square, trapezoid, rectangle, rhombus, pentagon, hexagon, and at the very end is an octagon. Did you remember them? Those that you don't remember, I would like for you to take some time to practice. I've also drawn some shapes on the board here today. And all of these shapes are polygons. Polygons are enclosed shapes that have many sides. I wonder if you already know the names of some of them. I'm going to point to one. This is a four-sided shape. Do you know what it's called? It's a rectangle. Good job. What about this one? It has three sides and three angles. It's a triangle. Do you recognize any more? What about the one on the end? It's also an octagon. Today, we are going to learn how to draw polygons. One thing that we need to remember with polygons is that they are enclosed. There's no opening. Let's take a look. I'm going to erase these ones and we're going to practice drawing some polygons. All right, class, our board is ready. The first shape that we're going to draw today has three sides. So on your paper, I want you to draw three dots. One, two, three. Those dots are where our angles are going to be. And we're going to connect the dots to draw our shape. One, two, three sides. Our three-sided shape is called what? That's right, it's a triangle. Now we're going to practice making a four-sided shape. So what I would like for you to do is draw four dots on your paper. And then we're going to connect the dots. One, two, three, four. I tried to make a square. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. I'm going to try another four-sided shape, but this time it will be a little bit longer. One, two, three, four dots. Now I'm going to connect them. I want you to try it too. It's going to have one, two, three, four sides. Our four-sided shape here is a rectangle. Hmm. I wonder if we could try another four-sided shape. We have a square, we have a rectangle. What if we change our dots a little bit? Is that a rhombus? Close. <laughs> I would like for you to try drawing a rhombus. For a trapezoid, we also have four sides. One, two, three, four. I'd like for you to try drawing a trapezoid. Now our four-sided shapes were square, rectangle, trapezoid, and my sad little rhombus over there. Now we're going to try one that has five sides. So I'm going to draw five dots. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to connect them. I want you to try it too. The dots are our corners or our angles. 
that five-sided shape is a pentagon. What if I did one with six dots? That would give it six angles or six sides. Let's try it. I have one, two, and I'll do two below that. One over here on each side as well. Let's try. It has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. A six-sided shape is called a hexagon. What would it be called if our shape had eight sides? Do you remember? Hmm, there's a sea creature that has eight legs. What is it called? An octopus. So an eight-sided shape is called an octagon. Let's try drawing one. It's going to have two dots on the top, two dots on the bottom, two dots on this side, and two dots on that side. And now I'm going to connect the dots to give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. I'd like for you to practice drawing some polygons today. Try drawing the dots first. If you want a three-sided shape, draw three dots. If you want a four-sided shape, draw four dots. Each dot will end up being your angle or corner of your shape. I know that you are going to do an amazing job and you can have fun drawing polygons today. I hope that you have a great day class. Bye-bye!